for one. We are on our way. We're loaded down with all of our cleaning supplies. Well, it's all in the trunk. <laughs> You're like, all your cleaning supplies? Man, what you could do? Just sweep them off. Uh, anyway, we are headed out to the new house and we have to do some intense cleaning. I wanted to be there by 12, but we're just not leaving our house at 12. And it takes like, what, an hour to get there? 40 minutes. Like four, okay, 40 minutes. Um, so we're running a little bit behind schedule, but it's okay. We're gonna stay there all night cleaning. All night. I'm gonna leave you there all night. <laughs> Once I get started on a project, like I hate stopping. Like I have to finish it. Um, anyway, we're it's off. Great. <laughs> yeah. No, it actually is a quality. It just uh, you got to make sure and keep her in the right projects. She can start on something crazy. <laughs> yeah. Like, so, like sanitizing the doorknobs. Oh yeah. While I'm sleeping. So funny story. Yeah. One time we were living somewhere and the doorknobs were really dirty and we were really poor. So <laughs> I decided to take all the doorknobs off, but I didn't take the latches out. I just took the knobs off. And Josh worked third shift, so he was sleeping in the other room. And I had the, the doorknobs boiling in some Lysol on the stove, totally normal. <laughs> boiling in Lysol. <laughs> I'm not even sure if that's safe. It's fine, it, it got him clean. So anyway, so while- They don't even think to put do not boil on the label. <laughs> Be quiet. I don't think people are gonna do it. Listen, I was cleaning, I had to clean the doorknobs. Yeah, because the Lysol itself, that wasn't enough. You had nope. to boil it. I had to boil well. them. They were so dirty and we were so poor. But anyway, so I left the latch in there. So I go, Josh is sleeping in the one bedroom and I took the doorknob off and I closed the door. And then, then I go in the spare room, which is right across from the other bedroom, and I close the door and I start wiping down the, that door and I'm, clean, I'm like deep cleaning that bedroom. And then all of a sudden, I go to grab, like I go to get out of the room and I go to pull the door and it won't open. And then I tried pulling, I tried messing with the latch and it won't open. I realized that the doorknob, the way it works is when you turn it, it has like a spring or something and it pulls the latch and that's how you open the door. And I had no doorknob to do that. So I'm like trying to stay calm, but before I know it, I'm freaking out, I'm panicking. The um, All the doors are locked from the outside so I couldn't climb out the window and I didn't have my phone on me. And so I was like, I was trapped in this room and so I like, I like, uh, stopped. I was like, okay, I'm not gonna freak out. I'm just gonna stay calm and try and get a hanger and try and mess with it. Nothing was working, and I start panicking. <laughs> and so Josh is sleeping, and he wears earplugs because you know he sleeps during the day, and I make a lot of noise. So he's got earplugs in, and he's in the other room. And so I just start yelling, Josh, Josh, help me, Josh, like really loud. I thought I thought she was like had fallen and her leg was dislocated or something. I got really... I just, maybe there was a rapist in the house. Yeah, I got I really know. freaked out. So, what happens? So, I, I jump out of bed and I'd only been asleep like three or four hours at this point. So, it was, you know, everybody knows that feeling. So, I jump up and I run to the doorknob and I go to grab it and there's nothing. nothing. And I'm like, I thought it was a bad dream. <laughs> there's no door. I was like, what? I, I, I was so confused because I had my earplugs in, you know, it was pitch black in the room and I couldn't open the door. And so, but I still hear Destiny yelling. So I take my earplugs out and I lean down to look through the doorknob and I see across the hallway into the other room, she is trapped in the other room. Peeking looking, through the door. So we're looking at each other through the door. He's like, what did you do? She trapped both of us in separate rooms <laughs> with no way out. So. And she's like panicking, like I'm freaking out. I'm like, Man. and so then I start laughing, and I'm like, this is ridiculous. I just have to calm her down. Like seriously, okay, you're not dying, right? You're not dead. There's nothing sticking out of you. And no, she was just locked in another room. So yeah. Luckily, she had, I think, a butter knife or no, a screwdriver. No, you had a butter knife. I didn't no, because you had to slide it across the thing to me. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I was using a butter knife to scrape off the door. Yeah, because we couldn't even afford a putty knife. <laughs> Guys, listen, when I say that I have OCD issues, like you don't even know, like no. sterilizing doorknobs in a boiling pot of Lysol. That's OCD. why what we're about to do scares me because I can leave her alone in a room for 20 minutes. And when I come in there, the drywall's off the walls for all I know. She's crazy. <laughs> so anyway, so we've got one shot. There was a, it was hardwood floors and there was about that much gap under each door. So she had to slide it 
under her door, across the hall, and under my door. If she didn't do that, we'd still be in that room. <laughs> Whatever. So yeah, I slid it. It was a perfect slide, and he was able to mess with the doorknob a little bit. I tried using the knife. I couldn't get it to work. I tried using a hanger, but he was able to get it to work, and then he came and rescued me, and that was a true story, how I locked us in opposite rooms with door no doorknobs. And then um, another real quick little story, that same apartment we lived in, they had really gross carpet in there and I discovered that there was hardwood floor underneath the carpet. Oh. I didn't know that you were supposed to cut the carpet into strips and then take it out piece by piece. So I just like jumped into that thing and started ripping it up everywhere. And then I get done and I have a huge, like Again, heavy. I wake up and come out in the living room and the furniture's everywhere and there's a big, huge unmovable pile of carpet in the middle of the floor so what do i have to do lay it all back out so i can cut it in strips to get it out the door -uh, you didn't even do that what i had to do was like a wild animal take a knife and just jump on the pile and start cutting out <laughs> random pieces i remember cutting some of those yeah well, i think I you started that. cutting them and you were just like <laughs> like a psychopath going to town yes anyway yeah so i'm not just saying things to be funny this is a serious issue in the little world we live in called Destiny Land. It's a fun place to live. Yeah. We're here at the house, working, cleaning, scrubbing. Um, first thing I do is attack this fridge, which is filthy, and I'm scrubbing the inside of it, and I just, there's this awful, awful smell. So I started thinking that my product that I was using was bad. And then it just occurred to me, I was like, this smells like straight up death. So I pulled out the fridge, and looky what I find hiding down there. You see it? It's a dead rat. That is just so awesome. Get out of there. You're gonna eat something weird. I just know it. Oh, this house, it is going to test my OCDness to the core. The Lord is testing me. So I forgot to bring scissors, knives, I don't know, just anything good. So I had to go out in the little abandoned shed to see if I couldn't find a knife or something. So I am getting ready to open this screwdriver set with this rusty old saw. What could go wrong? You hear me, babe? This is not safe. I'm pretty sure if you were to get cut by this, you'd get tetanus. Or have to get a tetanus shot. Ugh. But look. Did the job. And make sure I don't cut myself on this plastic. Ugh. Finally. Can't believe I just used a saw. Let me get this out of here before I hurt myself. You guys, I did something bad. Josh is out in the land exploring and he left me alone and that's such a bad thing to do. But wow, look what I discovered. So we have this fireplace and I noticed something was weird because it's like, first of all, this is kind of a hillbilly house so it's just kind of patched together. And I noticed I was cleaning this and it fell off. And I was like, okay, this is just like some piece of wooden cheap frame. And then I realized came off here. So this fireplace, all this has been covered up and redone. Well then this part was separating. So I peeked down in there and I don't know if you could see it, but I saw white brick. So they covered up this beautiful fireplace. So I was alone and I just accidentally bumped off the side of it. Uh, accidentally as in I completely ripped it off. Oh gosh, Josh is here. Hey, it was an accident. Oh my goodness, what did you do? Nothing. Hey, that was not an accident. Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. It Look was how good off. this is. It's it's like, yeah, it's got some glue on it that needs to be taken off. But look, it peels right off. And look how nice this is. And around there, I noticed it's kind of black, but it just needs repainted. Well, I was going to give you this, but now you're in trouble. Give me what? Aww. Thank you. This could be poisonous. Yeah, don't eat it. <laughs> oh, it smells good. What do you mean by? Yeah, easy, you said. It is easy. Oh. I'm going to do it. I'm taking it all off. I'll come back. You have to take it straight every single one of these. I'm taking it away. Okay. <sighs> I'm so wore out. 
we just um, I just got a shower because we just got done swimming and I didn't wash my hair but I just got it wet because I had uh, I got it wet in the water so I just rinsed it out and then I'm at the place to where I'm contemplating do I really want to brush it or do I just want to fight with it using detangler tomorrow and you know what I've worked really hard today so I think I'm just not going to brush it um, I am getting ready to sit down and do some network marketing on my laptop. I posted a funny thing, like, well, I thought it was funny. I was amused um, on Facebook about, like, ask me any Plexus question and I'll answer it with a meme. And I, ob obviously, this, you know, they don't have a bunch of Plexus memes for every answer. So I'm having to go and actually create my own memes. And it's kind of fun. It's challenging. So I have some more questions that I need to put some stuff together for. And I know, I think that in the last clip, I was showing you all the, that fireplace. And I planned on, like, taking off all that that uh, wood pieces and like trying to re like refurbish is that the right word sure redo redo the original fireplace but <sighs> it has cement they glued tile or they some they put cement on the brick and then put the tile on top of it so it's basically a lost cause and um, I'm not going to be able to do what I wanted to do. So now I have to put it back together. We worked for like four hours. So we're out so tired. And um, we're going to be back at it again tomorrow because we want to get it all ready. Uh, my in-laws are coming in. Is it this Friday? Oh my, they're coming in this Friday. And so we're trying to hurry up and get as much work done as possible on the other house because we don't want them to like have to help us work or anything. We, don't, we want them to come and enjoy their vacation. Um, but then after they leave, we basically have like a, just the, a few days to move in. So we're trying to hurry up and get it done now. So anyway, I'm super out and I think this vlog is already super long. So I'm going to end it for tonight. I hope you all had a great day and we will see you in our next video. Bye.